Hey everyone, I'm Chadwick. And I'm Ashley. And today we're going to share with you the top five things we don't like about our Winnebago 2100 BH. Let's get into it. This is the good life. If you're new here, thanks for watching. We make videos about getting outdoors and camping and just having fun as a family. We want to make the most out of every day by getting outside to play. And if you want to hear more about our adventures and journeys as we go, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I rhymed. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> is that okay? The first thing we don't love about our camper, and this is probably true of all of the Winnebago Micro Mini line, is the holding tank size. So this one has a 25 gallon gray water, 25 gallon black tank, and, uh, and a 31 gallon fresh water, which isn't quite enough to keep us out camping as long as we'd want off the grid. When we're at a full hookup joint like this, it's awesome. It's doesn't fine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Um, but trying to get those extended days when we're out boondocking, which we're starting to get into, yeah, um, it's not gonna get us by quite as we can go three, maybe four days if we stretch it, but that's it. Yeah, maybe four days, but that's and that's with four of us in our family. But the kids don't shower, and it's only two adults showering every other day to make it last three to four days. So there's a couple solutions to that, a couple tricks. One is that people will slowly dump their gray water in certain parks and areas, which I am not condoning and I'm not <laughs> advocating. So that, that maybe or maybe is an option, but a couple real solutions are they make these um, portable holding tanks. I think Campco makes them. We don't own one, yeah. but yeah, maybe that will be somewhere in the future, but um, it's basically um, so you can dump a box that you yeah. carry around with all your stuff. So uh, stuff. The other thing you might want to consider, and this is, this is something we've absolutely used quite a bit, is they make, you know, five gallon, six gallon uh, portable water jugs that you can throw in the back of your truck. We and used to use them when we tent camped all the time. That was yeah. our, our water source. But now we carry them in the back of the truck so that we can replenish at least the fresh water when we're, when we're off the grid. The second thing that we don't love about our Winnebago Micro Mini is the Dometic thermostat in it. I don't like it for two reasons. One, the thermostat itself is really just a little clunky to use and super sensitive to touch. It and looks you, fancy because it's like new technology, it's right? It's like digital and it has a backlit screen, but it... Um, Newer is not always better. And then the other thing I don't like about it, and this may just be in the 2100 BH, is its location. And the 2100 BH is like right next to the top bunk. And so uh, both of our kids have had this issue. When they climb up into the top bunk, they end up like hitting it. They've knocked the cover off of it. They've changed the temperature. They've changed it from AC to heat. Like Just their knees or their feet will, will their bump butt, it. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this thermostat is in such a bad spot when you get up or down because it can easily knock this front part off. I almost knock it off every time. Oh no. So the location is not ideal in the 2100 BH. But even if it were in a better location, I still think I'd want to replace it because the thermostat's not that great. I know, I just want something with buttons. Why can't they just make things Rather with than buttons? Rather touch sensor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the Dometic thermostat would be our second thing that we don't love about it. So the third thing that we don't love about the Micro Mini 2100 BH is the mattress that it came with. It was not good at all. That's kind of putting it nicely, right? Uh, and we talked about it in one of our other videos too. Mm -hmm. But we replaced it right away. So we replaced it with a Zynus Green Tea Memory Foam Mattress, the eight inch one. It was about $150 off of Amazon. And it's been awesome. I like it more than our mattress at home, really. Yeah, it is on the firm side in terms of mattresses, but we find that it's, it's still, because it's memory foam, it still has enough give to make it comfortable, but it is on the firm side. Yep. Now, I did just recently hear um, that the newer Winnebago's, the 2021's, ours is a 2020, um, I just saw a post on one of the Winnebago Facebook groups that the someone got a new one with a better mattress in it oh. than what came with ours, like, like a, a memory foam type mattress. Now, that's just one person that I heard say it, but may, maybe Winnebago's picked up on this and it's getting better, I don't know. Um, the other thing I don't like about this particular model, and we didn't 
think too hard about this, I think, when we bought this camper. But the 2100BH, the bed is um, goes left to right in the camper. And so that means me, who sleeps on the far side, has to climb over Chadwick <laughs> anytime I want to get in or out, and he's already in the bed. So not a huge deal. It's worth thinking about, I it's, would say. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely worth thinking about. Um, we make it work, but something that one day down the road when we get another camper we probably won't get a bed oriented that way yeah well i don't know it it's functional <laughs> they're making the most out of 21 feet long of trailer they are so it, it it and the nice thing is is be they're making the most out of the space and this trailer is really light for its size so that helps so that's the third thing that we don't love about our trailer is the bed so the fourth thing that we don't love about our Micro Mini 2100 BH is the storage, especially the storage in the bathroom, because there is none. <laughs> yeah, it's completely empty. <laughs> and and where the basis for that is, it, we've made it work with the storage that's in here. We had to get pretty creative with it, but I know like in I think it's the 1700 BH and the 1800 BH. There's a few little extra storage things. Like I think the 1700 BH has like a little deep pantry closet thing near the bunks and things like that and the 2100 bh doesn't have that now obviously the reason why is because you get the slide um which i wouldn't trade that for the world but it's a trade-off so that's one of the things i would have loved to just a little bit more storage i would have loved to have something in the bathroom we had to hang shelves and all kinds of things in there to even get anything like there's literally one towel hook that's it that's, that's all, all that comes <laughs> so um but yeah it's workable but wish there would have been just a little bit more so to solve it what what were the things we added like to the bathroom for storage we added some wooden ikea spice racks to the wall that we use for shelves for our cosmetics and things like that in the bathroom um, we added some hooks inside the shower to hang towels on um, we added mirrors. There's not even a mirror in there to look at. Um, toilet they, paper holder, right? Yeah, there's no toilet paper holder. We added one of those and um, a little toothbrush caddy holder that sticks to the wall. So those are all in our our other 2100BH video that we did. Yeah, but it seems like Winnebago could have just spent $100 and built some small cabinetry in there, right? Or even just wall-mounted shelves or a mirror or something <laughs> yeah maybe they're trying to save on weight i don't know yeah but that would be our fourth thing that we don't love about the trailer yeah the final thing that we don't love about our winnebago travel trailer and maybe this is, applies to any travel trailer is our oven burn stuff like crazy burn stuff or cooks unevenly yeah it cooks super unevenly don't get us wrong we actually loved having the oven which surprised us because yeah. people said Oh, you'll never use the oven. Don't don't worry about that. And we were like, well, we think we like the idea of an oven, and we've used it a ton. Every single time we've had it out, we've used the oven and the microwave. Like we use it all. Mhm. Mm so we love having the oven, but you just have to learn how these camper ovens work. And one of the biggest issues is they don't cook very evenly and have a tendency to burn. However, we did find this tip, and I wanted to share it with you. If you get a pizza stone. And now you have to get a small pizza stone. So here's our 10 and a quarter inch pizza stone. We keep it in the box so that it doesn't break during travel. And then once we get to our campsite, we usually just take it out. You can see here, just your basic pizza stone. I slide it right here. And with having that above the fire and having the food above that, it really evens that whole oven out quite a bit. So I just slide that pizza stone right there between the metal cooking rack and the built-in heat distribution piece, and you're good to go. This is the good life.